Hi guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my second channel. We have another haul for you guys. This is a good haul. I was literally driving home and I was like so excited to film this haul. I got some good stuff. Sometimes you hit the jackpot at Home Goods, and sometimes you walk in and you don't really find anything. Today I hit the jackpot. You know you hit the jackpot when you walk in and you're like, I don't need a cart. Like maybe I'll just see a couple things I like, but I don't need a cart, you know? I walk around and I, I'm starting to see some things I like. So I had one thing in my hand, I set it down, and I went out and I got a cart from outside. I got a small cart. I start shopping around, my cart gets full, and I have to go and swap it out with a big cart. Yeah, <laughs> cart, I don't know why, I said, that's so weird. Yeah, I got some really good stuff, and yeah, so let me do a haul of what I got from my favorite store. Home Goods and Target are definitely my favorite places to get like house decorations and things like that. So Home Goods is definitely one of my faves. I applied and got the credit card today. I don't know why I haven't done that before because you save so much money and you get like coupons all the time and I save 10% off my whole order. So I'm like, today's a good day to sign up for the card since I got some bigger items. But let's begin. So if you guys don't know this about me, you probably do, but I'm obsessed with Ray Dunn. I'm a Ray Dunn fanatic. I think this stuff is so cute. If you don't know what Ray Dunn is, it's basically just stuff with simple words on it like this. And I'll give you guys the prices too. So this was 15 and this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. They only had one, but it's so cute. It is a little lunchbox with this pretty strap on it. The color's gorgeous. It's like a couch. It has like a little bit of a texture in it. It has a long strap as well. And then the inside. I honestly didn't even look at the inside when I was in there, but let's look at it. So it looks like it's got the insulated material. I'm not sure what this little pouch is, but that's what it looks like. So pretty simple on the inside. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. And next, I got some pasta. Look at this. Cute, huge bow ties. That is what it's called. I farfalloni. So it's $5, and it's just so pretty. Like, looks like little hearts, too, on each side. So I got that. And then I got this big eat sign. So I'll let you guys know a little secret here. A small little secret on this channel, since you guys, I know, are so loyal because you subscribe to my second channel. Um, love you all. So I am actually moving. Um, let's keep this a little secret. But I'm going to have a pantry at my next place. And you guys know me. I complained about not having a pantry, but I mean, still blessed enough to even have this home. But I really wanted a pantry and I filled up so many of my cabinets in this kitchen with just snacks because you guys know I'm a huge foodie, obviously. So I got this big eat sign to put in my pantry that I'm gonna be having. And I also got some other pantry things in this haul. So I thought it was super cute. And this costed, this was $25 and it's a really big sign. So I think that'll be so cute in the pantry and it's got like a little bit of like a rustic look. So also in the pantry, I got two Ray Dunn containers cause I wanna be like super organized and make it look all cute. I got this container for potatoes. I love it. And then you can put potatoes and onions in here. That's probably what I'll do. Oh, they, I wish they had an onion one. I don't think I've ever seen an onion one, but maybe if I look online, I could find an onion one. But I could just even have it like backwards too, which looks really cute and just have onions in there or whatever I want. So got that. And then I also got this one for rice. They had one that also said beans. I was like, beans? Like green beans? Like what? I was like, yeah, no, I'll just get the rice one, put some white rice in here. Because I usually do have rice. So I was like, that's a good thing to get a, get a container for if I make burrito bowls and have rice. Um, but yeah, let's see what the price was on these. This one was 30 so I definitely noticed they upped the prices on Ray Dunn. It used to not be popular at all, and you can get a mug for like two bucks. Everything is definitely more expensive now. And this one was 17 but definitely worth it because these will be used often. And like laying out on a shelf, so it'll be cute. And the next, another Ray Dunn spatula. 
Um, this actually, look how dirty it is. It's like super dirty and it didn't have a tag on it, but the worker rang up another spatula for $4. So I got this for $4. Um, they're, they're like, it probably came in a two pack or something, but we couldn't find the other spatula. But it just says flip on it, which you wouldn't be flipping things with this really. It's more of a spin mix, <laughs> but I got that. And then I got this for inside of the pantry too, or on the kitchen counter, but I'm thinking the pantry. I love the two levels because you can put bananas down here and like apples up here or oranges, you know, anything like that. So it's super simple and cute. And then I got this. It is fresh lavender, a diffuser. I have not smelled it yet, but I'm sure it smells great, but I love it because it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. And I love these diffusers. I usually like to have them in every room. So that is the kitchen stuff. And now let's move on over here. So for my guest bedroom, I wanted to get a new comforter because it's still my original comforter. It's kind of gross. So I got a new comforter and my mom actually found a cute new headboard for my smaller bed for the guest room. It's my old bed, but um, the headboard I had, I had for a long time, and she got me a new one. She found it at the thrift store for like $10, and it is so stinking cute. It's so cute. It's like a gray beige color. So I was like, since I have a new headboard for that room, like why not try and make the room look good? Because right now it's like hodgepodge. So I'm like, since I'm moving and I got a new headboard, let's get a new comforter and new pillows too, and just make it look brand new and pretty. So I got this Kate Spade comforter. It's gray with flowers. It was $70. And this is what it looks like in the picture, which this room is so cute. I love these side tables. And this rug, like, oh my gosh, I almost wanna like copy that. Like, that makes me not happy with how my bedroom looks right now. Like, that looks so cute. See, it's so dangerous to shop because they always display things so much cuter and it's like, then you just wanna buy everything in the photo. Like that lamp, everything is so cute in this pic. I also forgot to mention the prices for these two items, so let me tell you guys. This was $10, and then this little basket was $13. So that was the prices. I'll come around here. I got a Kate Spade shower curtain. It's fabric, so I don't know if the fabric ones are really like that well. I think I'm gonna keep it though. This was only $17, but it's, ooh, squeaky. This is so cute with the little polka dots on it. I really like it. So I want this to go with, it will be with this uh, bedroom for the bathroom. So I think those, that's like a really pretty vibe together. Great for a guest bedroom. It's just like pretty and simple. And for that bed, I got these pillows to go with it. Just two big white pillows with the little design. I did not know Home Goods had this nice of comforters and pillows. You guys saw my room tour on my main channel and I got everything from Target. But Home Goods is definitely where to go. They had a huge selection, way nicer pillows. Like honestly, this is so much nicer than the stuff I got at Target. I still have the tags on all this stuff from Target too because I was like, I don't know if I'm happy with it. Like should I return it? Like seriously. This is so much cuter. And even like that comforter is just so pretty. And they also had one with polka dots on it. Uh oh, you're seeing. I got a, a little bag that says mom on it for Mother's Day and she watches my videos, so. Surprise! <laughs> I thought it was cute, like a little makeup bag or something. Like, if you travel with dad, your bag will say mom. But anyways, so yeah, I got these pillows and these were 40 bucks and they're thick. They're like good quality. So, that room is gonna look so cute because I have a little white side table too and it has like a little bit of like a wood color, like that wood color on the legs and in the handle. So like the color scheme is so, so cute. I'm gonna like that room better than my bedroom. Seriously. <laughs> Honestly, maybe I should return my comforter and like get that one too or the polka dot one in uh, for the bigger bed. Honestly, I might. I might, but then I got some clothes. I got this shirt. Has a little cinch right here and I love the pattern. Like I feel like this is gonna be a very like slimming shirt. Um, they actually say stripes are a really like slimming design to wear, but who cares anyways. But it's just a really cute pattern. I like the color a lot. And this was $10. Really cute. 
And then next I got this black shirt. It's super simple as well. I'm trying to like get out of, I still like crop tops, don't get me wrong, I love crop tops. But I have too many of them and I need to get more longer shirts because not only do I like feel more comfortable in them, like they're cuter, they're more appropriate. You can wear them to more things, I don't know. I love crop tops though on a summer day. But I wanted to get some like longer shirts too because I feel like all my shirts are so short. So this is like a longer one as well, but look, it like cuts open in the front. So it is kind of like a crop toppy look. Isn't that cute? So when it's, when you have it on, I'm sure it like isn't all the way open, but like when you walk, it might flow open a little bit, but so cute. So got that one and that was how much money? $10 as well. And then I got this black one. I don't know how I'm going to like this on. It's very stripey, but... I don't have anything like it, and I love stripes. Like, look, that decoration is stripes. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to like it because I like how the sleeves are, like, cinched. So, I feel like it would be really pretty on. And you could even, like, tie it in the front. So, this is $15. And I got extra smalls in all three of those. And then this one's a size large. It was the only size they had, but... It's so cute. I was like, even though it's not my size, I still am going to get it because I think it will fit too. I feel like you can wear any size you want. But I got this white button-up shirt and it has a tie in the front and it's longer in the back. So I was like, it's perfect to wear with leggings. So this was $13. And I don't know if it's a kid's shirt, honestly, because for being large, it is quite small. But I'm not sure. But it looks like it'll fit. And I like how it's long in the back so you can wear it with some leggings. And it's like dressy. So those are the shirts I got. And then I got a couple pairs of bottoms. So I got this pair. This was $13. Really like the rip. And I got this because it has a stretchy waistband. And I'm like, okay. Like that seems so comfy. I didn't try anything on so hopefully it all fits. But if it doesn't... I'll just return it, but by the looks of everything, I think it'll all fit. So these look so comfy. And then this is the back. I really like the coloring. And these are the brand Re Rewash. So I was seeing a lot of this brand there when I was looking at the denim stuff. And then I got these shorts. Look how cute it has little buttons on the pockets and it's like folded up and it's like stitched so it'll stay. And this is also stretchy. It looks really small, but like it's so stretchy, so stretchy. And this was a 15 and size small. It's really pretty. Like this with like a white crop top or a black shirt, pretty much anything. I'm like loving comfy clothes. Like, oh gosh, <laughs> am I getting lazy? No, comfy clothes are better. You should always be comfy. And lots of my clothes are a bit too small too, so. I like needed to get some new shorts and summer clothes and it's it's like I feel like I've been a similar weight for a while but I feel like when you start to wash things over and over again they just like shrink and they don't fit the same anymore especially with like denim because it's so thick and like not stretchy but I like how these have the stretchy band now these shorts I love them like look how cute the bottom is and it's longer in the back slightly see that so your cheeks won't be hanging out and it's got these cute strings which I feel like you gotta be careful putting this in the washer and dryer. I could see that getting frizzy possibly. I need to put it in like one of those like little bags and then put it in the washer. This was 13. Here's the back, has little pockets on it. And these are so cute. So these are also the re rewash. That is such a hard word to say, you guys. I like still struggle. Still <laughs> I can't talk right now. I still struggle like pronouncing words. I feel like like R's are a hard one to say. I feel like that's like the hardest letter to say in the alphabet. But when I was really, really young, I had to go to speech class and I couldn't pronounce like any letter for real. But I feel like I still can't pronounce my R's too well. But it's like in words like that, like rewash. <laughs> it's so hard. I can't be the only one who thinks that's hard to say. But, you guys, that is the haul. And since I already showed my mom's Mother's Day gifts, I'm just going to show the rest. Mom, if you're watching this, stop watching the video. All right. 
So I just got her this little mom thing. Cute little bag. And then I also got, I got us this necklace set. I thought it was super cute. This was 25. It says one for me, one for you. And it's just small little gold hearts. Isn't that pretty? Just like dainty little jewelry. So yeah. I am like so, so excited to start using my lunchbox even though it's like, I need to use it. I'm going to use it. Like if I pack a lunch and go to the park this summer with Hershey, I can eat my lunch there. Oh, that sounds so fun. So let's see if my bento box fits in here. It does. It does. I can put my bento box in here and there's more room for like more snacks or a drink. That is so fun. So fun. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this home goods haul. This was so fun. I love sharing what I get with you guys. I hope you guys like it too. Like don't ever think I'm like trying to brag about what I bought. I don't know. I'm not, I'm just excited. I like love cutesy things and I, when I do buy it, I wanna share it with you guys. And I feel like it gives you ideas. So yeah, I'm doing it in like a happy way. Maybe I should change this channel name to Steph Shops. <laughs> Seriously, I feel like that's cuter than Steph Blogs because I feel like I will do some blogs here and there but also I feel like so far on this channel I've done a lot of hauls. And if I st I'm gonna start doing grocery hauls too. I just haven't gone grocery shopping, honestly, in a bit. Wow, with HelloFresh, I like don't go grocery shopping too much anymore. But next time I go grocery shopping, I'll do an, a big grocery haul. Should it be Steph Shops? Can I even change my YouTube username? I think so, right? It's just like my name on YouTube. I don't know, Steph Shops, that's kinda cute. <laughs> Cause if I try out new makeup products or new like hair, heating tools, it's like Steph's shops and I'm like reviewing it. I might change it, let me know what you guys think. I think that has a better rhythm, Steph shops. What if I came out with a, a Steph shop one day? I'm sharing all my ideas. <laughs> all right guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's haul and I will see you all next time, bye guys.